Hey, so I just wanted to share this information with y'all and it's um, about B6 toxicity. So my husband says, why are you making another awareness video? I said, my next video is going to be awareness on complaining husbands. <laughs> He's over here laughing. Anyway, B6 toxicity. Um, so I went to the doctor. I had been having neurological symptoms and I had to go to three different neurologists before I found out what it was. And my B6 levels were really, really high. And y'all, all I had been taking was a tiny little child's dose, 10 milligrams a day. And half the time I wouldn't even take it. You know, like I'd forget to take the vitamin. But either way, you can get toxic on B6. So I will put some pictures, videos of what my symptoms were. Um, I had muscle jerking. Oh, I had neuropathy, worse than my normal neuropathy. Now I have Sjogren's neuropathy, but this was even worse. Like my feet were completely numb. It's been better since I quit taking the B6 vitamin, the neuropathy. I still have it, but it's not severe as it was. And I've been off of the vitamin for a little over two months now, and I can tell a tremendous difference. So if you are having problems and you don't know what it's coming from and you're taking B6, make sure you get your doctor to check your levels. Don't take the vitamin the day of the blood work because it can skew the numbers. But ask your doctor. Just wanted you to know. So as you can see here, I have lots of muscle jerking. It started out slowly and dramatically increased over time with burning and numbness of my hands and feet. I also had irritability and would stagger. I failed the Romberg test at my neurologist office. I was taking um, the vitamin B6 as pyridoxine hydrochloride. A P5P supplement is a better version and highly absorbable. If you need more info, get on YouTube. There are lots of good videos. God bless.